All right, so I'm going to show you how to um, use a scanning software on your phone to uh, easily scan a couple pages into a PDF. It's much easier than taking photos, and it's just easier for me, and it'll be easier for you in the long run as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do two pages here. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for, uh, go to the App Store or go to Google Play. I'm looking for an app called Cam Scanner. So Cam Scanner, it's probably the easiest one to use on all different platforms. There are you can you can take your pick if you want to use a different one that's fine but this, this is the tutorial using cam scanner so I'll start it and what I'm, since I've got a two page document here I'm just going to do one page at a time and it'll merge it into one file and you can see okay so uh, I'll start by uh, clicking on the, um, the picture button right here and then you'll notice right here it shows you at the bottom there's two modes that this will be in that's single mode that means it's every time you take a picture it's going to separate as one file or that's batch mode which means you can take as many pictures as you want and it'll create one big file and send one file instead of multiple files. Okay, so we want it in batch mode. You also want this in portrait as opposed to in landscape, so take all your pictures in portrait. It's easier on the page. At the top, look for the option. Make sure that auto crop is off. It's just easier for you. You can turn it on if you want, but I think it's easier if you put auto, auto crop off. Also right there, you'll see it's in dock mode as opposed to ID card or anything else. These are all sort of defaults anyway, so it shouldn't be a, too much of a problem setting that up. Okay, so when I'm good to go, I'm going to go ahead and start. So I'll, I'm going to raise my uh, my phone, and I don't... So you can see the edges of the sheet right now. I could keep the edges. I could bring it even closer if I want. The key thing is just make sure it's in focus. Tap your screen to make sure it's in focus, and take a picture. Okay, so that page is done. I'll move on to the next picture. So if you want, I mean, you can even, like even higher if you want. You can see the edges of the page. You can see my finger right there. Who cares? Don't worry about it. Okay, that, that page is done too. So, I'm good. You'll see right there, it'll show you an option of sort of, uh, well, to cancel, don't cancel, more pictures if you want, if you have more pages, or just hit that one. We're going to process this. Okay, so the next screen is just showing you is, do you want to bring these corners in so that your edge of your page is there or not? I don't care. Don't worry about it. So, we can just leave it like that. So there's the second page, there's the first page, and at the bottom here I'm just going to click on the check. It's good to go. It's going to give me some kind of crazy file name. I don't care about the file name, who cares? We just hit OK. And then it's processing two pages. So two pages there and there. And you can see it's really just, it's pretty clear. It's, it's actually quite clear. Whoops. Okay, so those are the two pages files. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll click on the share button right here, that little sort of, uh, you know, arm that little bar and I'm going to share it as a PDF and it's going to put it in a little watermark or a little uh, footer on the bottom here because it's a free version I don't care don't worry about it hit share at the top Oops. and then I'll choose to share it via email I'll type in my email address again don't worry about the file name as long as you tell me or as, as long as I know that it, I'm getting it then it's not a problem because it's coming from you and I can figure it out myself and we hit send and it's done that's it there's your tutorial